right. Yeah. So are we on the do it. Okay. The agenda for today is we're gonna introduce ourselves and then we're gonna talk about what to expect in synchronous learning, what to expect in asynchronous or applied learning, office hour, how to contact us, and we're gonna have time at the end for QA. Love it. Well, so first off, a couple introductions. Uh, it looks like me without a beard. I didn't notice that till right now. Bjorn Nelson. So I've been teaching math in New Urban for like six years now. This trimester, I'm teaching Algebra 1, Geometry, and then Prod and Stats. So it's going to be super lit. Fun facts. I hated math until I was 25. I took every like remedial class as there were. Like it was super hard for me growing up. I didn't get good at it until I actually went to school for physics. And then physics, I saw what math was good for. So if you hate math currently, I got you. It's going to be fun. In my free time, uh, I'm a competitive power lifter, so I coach a bunch of fun people, getting all strong and throwing weights around. I play a bunch of guitar. My favorite shows on Netflix are One Punch Man, because Saitama is super cool, and then Vikings, because, you know, Vikings. So my name is Lanmai. I will teach financial algebra, algebra two, probability and statistics for this school year. This is my second year of teaching in my second year at New Urban High School. Yay. So over the last three months, I just got started into drawing and painting and I have some cute little paints that I made right here. I love penguins. They're pretty adorbs. Uh, what to expect? That's yours. Go ahead. Oh, this is mine. Sorry. Ha. Synchronous session. So this trimester is going to be kind of split between in-person, us face-to-face like right now, and then asynchronous, y'all doing work on your own. So if you were here last trimester, that was all asynchronous. So this trimester, we have the benefit of also being face-to-face, -face, which is pretty awesome. What you're going to see a lot in the synchronous section, sessions, the face-to-face, -face, there's going to be two a week, so about two hours total in the week. We're going to do a lot of clarifications, explanations of the content. We'll do a whole bunch of check-ins if you need help with anything. If you're missing anything, we can kind of keep you on track. Uh, as we learn stuff, it'll also be an opportunity for us to talk about uh, extensions, applications, so like what the math is used for. We'll work a lot with each other. And then a whole bunch of time um, while we're all there together to talk about problems, troubleshoot, give you some feedback as well. It's going to be way, 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 way better than it was last trimester because we can actually talk with each other in real time. So that's fun. You can see my pretty face, likewise. During a synchronous or applied learning, there will be direct instruction through video and explanations videos that you need to watch before synchronous timing. During synchronous time, you can ask us questions. Um, there will be labs, projects, and practice pro problem that we will work on. I like how this guy is doing his computer work on top of a hill. I know he doesn't have Wi-Fi out there, but you know, he's trying. Office hour on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, we will have time from 9.30 to 10 and 11.15 to 11.45. A little bit different on Wednesday, it's going to be from 10.45 to 11.45. Uh, just to clarify to you, I know that if you have your student schedule, it says that some of the office hours are specific to the class before it. Just know that we don't care. If you've got questions at any of these times, feel free to pop in and then we'll show you the first couple of days of school where we're together, how to do that. We will use a link that provided in our Google Classroom to meet with you guys for the office hour. We will have time to answer any questions that you guys have or you can get one-on-one -on -one help with us. I've also got a bunch of good jokes if you're just interested, just pop in, it's fine. So the best way right now to contact us is through our email. We will try our best to respond to your email as quickly as possible. You can find our email on the new Urban School website. Which I also have here, just so you can see how to do it. Yeah. New Urban website looks like this if you do a search. Up here in the top, it says teachers. It's by alphabetical last name. There's only like 10 of us, so it's not that bad. Bjorn Nelson. I'm in the process of updating the site too, so it should be chock-a-block full of all kinds of good information. 
starting next week. Was it going to work? Ah, <gasps> oh, there it is. OK, right. here's an old photo of me. And then if you go through, there's my email. So if you ever need my email, it's listed right here. And there will be access to all of our Google Classrooms linked here as well. Oh, this one. There we go. And now time for questions. Do you have any questions? That, and we love to answer those. Give me something to do. Hey, there's stuff in the chat. Bean. Yes, beans. All the beans. Oh my gosh, I know you people are out there. Give me something to talk about. How many? I can bench three whole benches. It's kind of a big deal. Took a whole bunch of rubber bands just to stick them all together. <laughs> Sleeper, bro. Uh, one more chat. What do you get if you cross an elephant and a rhinoceros? Elephino. <laughs> See, this is what office hours are for, man. Just pop in. I got plenty of these. Really at the heart, I mean, like, distance learning is going to be crazy. I so, so, so wish I was, like, face to face with all of you for a million reasons. But we're here, it's gonna be super smooth. It's super weird, it's novel and new for everyone, but it's gonna be the same kind of stuff. It's gonna be classes, we'll be there, supporting, helping out, doing stuff. It's gonna be uh, lit, I think as kids say nowadays. So get ready for it. Ooh, yeah, who's there? Etch, etch who? Oh man, I walked right into that. Yes. Yeah. Well played. Well played. Uh, if you did show up late, so a little bit later, I know we started at one. Uh, this has all been recorded as well. So if you're just popping in now and are wondering what the heck we're doing, there's going to be a link that we'll send out as well with all the information one more time around, just so you have access to it. You can watch it forever and ever and ever on repeat if you want. Let's see. I'm going to call somebody out. Jackson, you and me, staring contest right now. Go. I'm going to win. <laughs> oh, that's hard. Love it. Where can we find our schedules? Uh, schedules are still in the process of being made. So if some people have been entered, some people haven't. It should be super, super soon. If you have Synergy, uh, just keep checking that. It should be updated. Last I heard was Thursday at the latest. So a little later, but you'll know very soon. I know that's super stressful having like last minute confusion, but it's all going to get sorted out by Monday for sure. Our goal is that all kids will have classes scheduled and know and be able to talk about those in community connection on Friday if they have questions. So you should have them by Thursday. And if you're checking Synergy, you should be able to see it. It's been turned on. Yay. Awesome. One more time, if people showed up late, uh, this has all been recorded too, so we're going to post it again later if you missed some stuff. Had some people just show up. Friday is not our Friday is not for your homeroom. Homeroom is on Wednesday. Let me uh, check. What time is it, Leon? Uh, Mickey, if you're talking about this week, this week Friday we do have like our first uh, oh. homeroom thing. So yeah, this week Friday it should be at nine forty-five. We'll talk with them for the first time. We'll talk about what it is, what to expect during it. Uh, but then just like Land was saying, for the rest of the year, it's going to be every Wednesday. But just this week during uh -huh. our session, it's Friday. Yep. Mm 
Anybody else? Any questions? That's a fun one. How do we know our homeroom teachers? Like Those should be put in student view as well with the teacher underneath. Uh, I'm pretty sure that all the Google Classrooms, Andrew, you can probably back up on this one, mm -hmm. all the students, so you should definitely have a homeroom, community connections, I think is what we're calling it or something like that. Um, it should be in your Google Classrooms. You're automatically logged into all your Google Classrooms this year just for ease of access. So if you go into Google Classrooms, you should see a class for you that says... Uh, community connection. Yeah, your teacher will be listed there if you, if you don't yet see it in student view. Yeah, Lily, if you if it is showing that you're in two, will you? Up, oh, you already did that for me. You are in Snyder's and Johnson's. I will look oh. at that and let you know. Double Thanks for putting us there, Lily. Yeah, I guess you have to do twice as much work as everybody else. Cool. Oh, little Skylar. Hi, Skylar. Hi. Chad Chaddington. Mm. Boom, answer. Da da da. Da 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 da. Andrew, anything else you can think of overarching that I didn't mention before? I don't think so. Um, we are sending things out in emails. So if you're not getting them, please, please, please let us know because it means we probably don't, I, we either don't have the right information or you may accidentally have us going to junk mail, spam, or um, blocked. So just double check that because we that's um, email is probably the fastest way we get information out to you. Am I still presenting to everyone? Really? I've been presenting this whole time and nobody told me about it until right now. We thought you were doing it on purpose, Mr. Nelson. No way, man. Come on. Ugh. Ugh. I'm not getting it. Uh, OK, so for the, the students who are not getting them, but your um, folks at home are, that was a, a glitch in Synergy and School Messenger. So I think we have it fixed. Um, I'll post the message on our website, and then that way that's another way to get to it too. And if you're still not getting it, then let us know. I know that was definitely one of the pains in the tuckuses last year was all the information everyone was getting. It was like thousands of emails from every possible source. So just know that's part of why we have that community connections homeroom set up. Instead of having 30 different people telling you the same thing, it'll just come through your homeroom teacher is the idea. So it should be a lot easier with less stuff in your email trash. I've been working on it for a while, you know? Pretty cool. Since the 70s? Yeah, there's a lot of, it's kind of cool. It's like wood paneling. So it makes yeah, me feel like I'm stuck in the forest. That was the 70s reference. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. It's coming uh, back, though. It's, it's coming back. I know, it's all over my house. It's terrible. It's like a fire trap. It's horrible. horrible. I was able to steal a whole bunch of stuff from my desk, which is pretty fun. I'm happy about that. So I got some cool desk toys, which I'm excited for. Of course, Thanos. Good times. So. Slowly pimping it out. Now I got Gudetama. That's tight. Easiest egg of all time. Yeah, the giant. I, I think you're talking about the giant drawing of sexy Garfield on the wall, Joseph Piney. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Uh, I definitely took that along with us. So that's all rolled up and coming along. It's going to be pretty good. I think that was like four years ago, some student drew a picture of Garfield, but as this ripped guy with his shirt off, it was pretty good. Calendar worthy. When will school open again? 
Cool. Uh, that's a great question. Uh, November, so we are definitely online until November 17th. Um, and they are consistently kind of looking at how things are going. And then they're going to let us know if we're um, going to either be back in person after November 17th or continuing online. So um, don't know yet. Sorry. TBD. If you haven't seen New Urban too, it's pretty crazy. I drove past it the other day. It's just like a giant hole with like some bricks thrown up. It's pretty crazy. There's some concrete that got started. <laughs> Those are the giant bricks that they put up. Yeah. Just yeah. There, there are walls going up. I see wood. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking at it right wood now. Paneling like this. You talking about? <laughs> they might want to borrow some of that. Yeah, I got plenty here. It's fine. The saddest part is, is I was actually looking forward to being in pods because the new little cubicles with air conditioning versus our cruddy old like hundred year old building like. Baller life right there. It super looked like Fallout. I love that game. Ooh, yeah, I like it. What do I like? Uh, hot air balloons would be pretty cool too, I think. Just to spend them up. I drop a pencil, it's just gone forever. It'd be cool. Would it be easier to make school into a spaceship or a spaceship into a school? I'm gonna think about that one for a while. I think it depends on where it is, Mr. Nelson. If it's in space or on Earth. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Teach him what? Yeah, that's about it. Yep, I get it. Yep. Earth stuff like math, is that what you're implying, Raquel? It's fine. I'm sure that's the quickest way to like avoid an alien invasion. Is they just show up and we're like, hey, you want to learn about the quadratic formula? Like they're turning around, they're going back home. So good defense. I like it. Mm -mm -mm. That's why we have calculators, right? You don't need to do long division. Super for real. Why don't they have short division? That'd be a lot better. Like quick division. So is this long process? I agree. Uh, just to reiterate, again, I hated math until I was like literally 27. Like I took remedial math in high school like three times. Uh, when I went to college, I failed Math 111, the intro class, twice. And it wasn't until my third time that I barely passed it with a C. So that was that was fun. I was super anxious about it. it made me all sweaty. Constantly thought I couldn't do it. So it wasn't until way 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 later in life that i was like oh my god it's actually worth learning you can do cool stuff with it so just know that in our actual math classes if you're new uh we try to do a whole bunch of application so a lot of the math that we learn we try to also figure out why we should learn it where it shows up how empowering it can be so if you currently hate math and are super worried about it i got you it's going to be super smooth thanks mr nelson because math still makes my palms sweat and make oh, me too. Scary. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's a terrifying subject for most people. <laughs> I am on the fence about that, Lily. So the question was, are we going to do interactive notebooks? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'm currently trying to find ways for us to build digital interactive notebooks because so much of what we're already doing is going to be through Google Classroom. So if we can find some way to like kind of tab it out, I'm exploring some options for that right now, at least in my class.
What do you think? Should we do interactive notebooks again? Mm -hmm. Genuine question, because I don't really know. Huh? It's useful to have everything consolidated and all of us on the same page. So my initial gut says it's a good call for us to do those. Like I said, the only thing I'm thinking about is because we're already going to be so digital, we might as well try to keep everything digital. So I'm in the process, like I said, of figuring out how best to do that. Does that answer that question? Mm -hmm. Any other questions about school beyond math class? Any other classes, the schedule for orientation? Why the sky is blue? It's a fun one. You got it. Yeah, exactly. So last, I know last trimester, the question was, uh, or just the comment was that journals are easy. Lynch uses them as well, another teacher. <laughs> Uh, Joseph Piney, just to double check, did she actually have you take um, Cornell notes and everything last last trimester? So you actually had to write them all down and everything, right? I think so. Yeah. Oh, got you. Okay, good. I'll hit her up and see what she was using for the digital stuff. Uh, comment was writing it down versus digital. There's been a whole bunch of um, brain research that shows that the more you can like kinesthetically write stuff down with your hand, the more it gets linked into your head. So that's my only, only kind of like consideration thinking about doing written interactive notebooks is that the more that you can interact through a pen, right? It goes paper, pen, arm, up to your brain where it sits there forever and ever theoretically. So writing it down probably does a better job of you actually learning the material versus typing it in. Yep, I super agree. Even like that's the hardest part for me personally trying to do all this as a teacher is that everything we're given is all digital. It's all emails and Google Drive links. And, uh, and I don't have a printer at home. Like theoretically, I would love to just print all this stuff and stick it in the big old binder and write all over it and mark on it and highlight. So I'm exactly the same way. If you look right now, I've got like post-it notes all over the place. Like it's crazy. So I definitely understand the writing down. Good to know. And if I would say, and uh, Mr. Nelson, if I'm speaking out of turn, you can just tell me to, to nope, we're not doing that. Um, if there are ways or ideas that you all come up with that are working for you, please share them with us because we are learning this too. Um, and if you've got things that you found that make it easier or new ways to try something, like we are so open to that um, and invite that. So please, please, please keep those ideas coming. Yeah, it's really exciting times. This is all super brand new. Like no one's ever had to do this level of like, oh, we're all gonna distance learn together. That's awesome. I'm not prepared for this. I've got some idea of what I'm doing, but it's all brand new. It's gonna take a good amount of trial and error. So the same thing, the more that you can advocate and tell me what you need, what works, what doesn't work, it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna make so many mistakes and learn so much. It's gonna be fun. Uh, yes, there is PE. I know that seems odd, but, but <laughs> they have, we have fabulous PE teachers that have figured it out. <laughs> it's just going to be like a online apps or something, like play a game where you run. That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> Film yourself playing badminton for an hour. That'd be cool. I imagine we'll learn more in the PE session. <laughs> I'm tempted to pop in now, see what happens. Joseph Piney, too many eel emails. Too many eels would be cool. Too many emails to look through. Super agree. Like I said last year, it was crazy. 
even again, us teachers, like we just got bombarded with all kinds of district emails and correspondence. Like I don't know where to find anything at this point. So again, that's part of why we have that community class is um, it'll be like your one-stop shop, right? Like if you were in my homeroom, I would tell you everything you need to know. So I'm gonna stop there. So you're not gonna have like thousands of emails like it was last trimester for sure. That was a huge, huge, huge point of anxiety and stress, I know. Anybody else? Any questions? Mm -hmm. This is the first, uh, the entire orientation week, this is the first little session as far as the, the meetings you can pop into. So just as some overarching information, if you want, I'm gonna go over the schedule so y'all know what your schedule is gonna look like as far as like weekly schedule while we got some time here. So pop this one up, Blink. here's my screen, theoretically pop. Uh, this should be linked somewhere, I think, Andrea, but this is what the week's going to look like for y'all. So CDL schedule at a glance. This is what you have going on Monday through Friday. So in the morning, you're going to have your two synchronous classes, your two face-to-face -face classes. So Monday, periods one and three, a little break in the middle. These are those office hours we were talking about. After lunch, it swaps, and you have the asynchronous for the other classes, right? So the first half of the day, face-to-face -face period one, face-to-face -face period three. After lunch, um, by yourself, period two, by yourself, period four. And that's going to swap out for the next day. So Tuesday, periods two, four, face to face, one, three, asynchronous. Wednesday is kind of just a big old day for you to get your own stuff done. So a bunch of applied learning, more asynchronous work time. And then we have that homeroom for about 45 minutes right here in the early afternoon. I just heard a ding. Boop, that one. Yep. This is me. Yeah. So just in case you didn't know what your weekly schedule looks like, that's what it's going to look like. Really, that's a really great question and one that we're still trying to uh, confirm an answer to. So ultimately what we do know is that any time that we have like this kind of face-to-face -face class, attendance will be taken. So that's like the synchronous together time. And then in terms of what happens like asynchronous when we're apart, there's an opportunity to also kind of uh, get marked present for attendance for that as well. Um, we'll have more specific information for you by Friday because um, that's one of the things that they're still um, getting all the little details for. Yeah. Another TBD, we'll figure it out. This pen smells like blueberry. So Bjorn, you said the sky was blue. My sky right now is red. Oh yeah, that's crazy, yeah. Uh, mine's bluish. I've got friends that live in Eugenia. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess all the wind like blew down there with all the smoke. And it was like sepia tone this morning. Like it was all just like cloudy yellow. Nice. Yep. You got the red also? Bridget. Yeah, mine, are, mine is um, from the fires that are coming from, I guess, the east. Um, yeah, so. right by Mount Hood, right? Uh, Mount Jefferson, actually. Uh, well, there's some by Mount Hood and some by Mount Jefferson. Too many fires. Dude, the, the windstorm was so awesome last night, though. I took a walk out of this dirt flying in my face. It was so fun. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Mickey, no. I know. What can you do without Netflix? Oh, no. Ooh, fun feature, if anybody's interested, at the bottom of your Google Meet, it should say turn on captions. So Google hears everything you say and then writes it out. 
It's crazy. Oh, yeah, the um, the YTA used to take action. I'm assuming by Miss Lockhart shaking her head, no, that it's not going on. Yeah. No, um, it would be kind of awkward because we can't really do any volunteering out in the community. Um, that's kind of like the, the reasoning behind it. So um, there's we really can't do it for this year. Um, if you were looking forward to it, I'm really sorry. Um, if you weren't, then... Only yours. <laughs> it won't affect. It won't affect graduation, Lily. Yeah, you're fine. New gym, good question. There was talk about there being a new gym and I saw it was gone. So we're, we are getting a brand new gym, which is going to be awesome. no more giant holes in the floor. Look at that. No more holes in the floor, no more leaking roof. It's actually going to have a bathroom. <laughs> like it's going to be awesome. Is there going to be a bathroom in the gym too? Bathroom. Oh my gosh. Modern times. Look at it's that. It's going to be connected to the building. You won't have to walk outside in the pouring rain. I mean, this That's is ugh, huge. That is super awesome. The annex, the annex looks really cool. It's gonna be kind of by the entrance to the school, I think, right, if I remember correctly? Uh, it, it'll be, so the entrance to the school will be kind of in a similar spot to where it is now. Um, mm -hmm. And then the annex isn't going anywhere, that's gonna stay where it is. Gotcha. I was thinking the common area, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's where have, the yeah, so Entrance to the school is gonna be this giant open, like put a bunch of artwork on the wall kind of spot. Yep. Yep, got it. Super cool. Yep. Okay, we got a minute left. Speed round. Anybody, any questions concerning math or school or cat eyeballs? No. Perfect. Okay. Legit. Well, any other questions, if they ever come up, we got those emails I showed you how to access through the school. Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, how can I check how many credits I have? You can go to uh, Student View. You should be able to look at your transcripts, and there should be a little box on your transcripts that says how many out of each subject. Like, it'll be like two credits out of three for math or something like that. So, and it, view, transcript. And it should show if you have incomplete from trimester three of last year, it should show that as well. Yep. Good call. You can also contact your counselor. Also a good one. Just shoot them an email. Take it. I like that you're asking that, though. Yeah, that's a good question. Love it, y'all. We're a whole minute past now. OK, it was awesome seeing all your faces and hearing about strawberry milk. I look forward to seeing you guys in like a week. I'm sorry it's through digital stuff zeros and ones and all the interwebs, but better than nothing. If you have any other questions, if anything else at all pops up, uh, email me, email Miss Mai, whichever you need. We got you, whatever it takes. Okay.